Bricker. We're here at the zoo in Albuquerque. Uh, this is our new female baby giraffe. I just got done giving her her 11 a.m. bottles. She gets fed four times a day, about 10 liters per day. Abby's a reticulated giraffe uh, from Central Africa. At birth, she was uh, about six feet tall, 120 pounds. Uh, now she's up about seven feet, uh, somewhere over 200 pounds now. I've been a keeper here in Albuquerque for about six years, and I do it just for reasons like this. I love interacting with these animals, and, and this is really the only way you can do it. This is kind of a, a once in a lifetime thing sometimes to you know, hang out with a baby giraffe. And she should have a pretty completely normal upbringing as long as we get her back in. She'll come and get fed by us, but other than that, she'll be a part of the herd. With giraffes or with any animals, just in general, I think what zoos are doing is they're a place where people can come see the animals, especially little kids. They come see them, uh, especially when we have babies, we have naming contests, they build a bond with these animals. And then as they grow up, you know, they've, they've got that in their heart. They had a connection when they were little, and, and it's all about learning. And, and, and they're more likely as adults to, to want to conserve.